Yeah, there's a just so many words connect, and it to me it's just like everything comes full circle. And if you really look into stuff, yeah, yeah, the cyclicality of life is is amazing. Just how, um, you know, time time can be. We're so used to living this this linear time. Well, today is the seventh, and tomorrow is the eighth, and then the next day is the ninth, and <clears throat> and. Uh, and and you go that way but then like you look at the way that time actually has has worked and, and and the way that the mayans and all these other ancient cultures looked at time as as time in three and how time becomes yeah there's that linearity uh of time but then there's that cyclicality of time and then there's that fractality of time and 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 how our lives are just huge cycles that repeat but it depends on catching catch the cycle right you know like catch it at the right time and you'll be able to affect these changes so that you know it goes linearly but then the cycle starts and then with that little action that you did at the beginning of that cycle then it turns into the fractality that you know all these different actions and and things that you did during the beginning of this cycle can then um become other greater just the way that fractals work yeah know? well it's interesting that you say that because like if you think about what year it is it's 2020 which is like in in some ways is yes it's so like this year it's so like it's the new start it's the start of a new decade it's you know a, a new year it's like it's a whole like beginning of a cycle essentially and just from yeah. everything that's happened so far this year, there's so many examples of like literally burning down to ashes and coming out of them and growing from that. And, you know, like there, it's so interesting that it happened in the year 2020 because that's like such, that's a start of a, of a new era essentially and not not literally yeah. but like in in a yeah. concept you know and and it's it's interesting to kind of be at the start of a cycle and be aware of that and be aware of the fact that 2020 is going to go down in history books and we're a part of history mm. as it's happening and like that's such an odd thing to be aware of yeah, it's it's just so interesting that it's not it's not like it's just in the middle of the decade or anything, you know. It's right. Yeah. No, like it started in January, like well, January 2021, very... 2020 yeah. and it it began and Yeah. It's yeah. so interesting. The, the, I I I look I look at <clears throat> I look at um I look to our ancestors a lot. I, I do look to our ancestors a lot because, uh, you know, they, they say if, if you don't look at your history, you're bound to repeat mm -hmm. it, you know. But we look at the Mayans and and how the the calendar, the Mayan calendar ended, quote unquote, supposedly ended on the on the 21st of December. Uh, 2012. I remember that you know? day. <laughs> You remember that? Yeah. You remember? I remember that day, okay. yeah. So, so when this happened, okay, when when this happened and and all these all these things kind of took a took a messed up turn, um <clears throat> it was like, well, whoever the whoever the dyslexic uh, you know, whoever the dyslexic Mayan that wrote this calendar uh, you know, messed up but we were reading it we were reading it wrong you know because according okay so the mayan calendar um okay we live we live this time we're, we're living a time where like our gregorian calendar which is the one that we're using it there's there's monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday th mm -hmm. you know and 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 that's the way that it goes for the mayans they let's say that today was monday and tomorrow's tuesday and blah blah you know as 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 linear time goes uh but they wouldn't have a monday until 52 years after but later right mm -hmm. um so 
they 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 I might be wrong because I I wasn't there at the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it the 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 way that their minds I believe was kind of wired was to think in super long terms, you know. And then, unfortunately, with our Gregorian calendar, every 400 years, we have to update it, you know? So when the calendar was created 5,000 years ago, um, because their, their counts, their, their calendar counts are 1,000 or 5,000, the long count is 5,125 years, okay? So they, they thought in these super broad terms, and then... Um, our calendar is so limited that every 400 years we have to, you know, do a little something here to make it back, you know. So when when the year 2020 began, that is when the actual Mayan calendar came to an end. And the warning at that point in time, the warning was we can, as a, as a human race, we can come together and make this a better place or we can follow the same patterns that we have for all this time. It is ultimately up to each individual making the, the right choices and stuff, you know? So then all of a sudden 2020 comes around and it's like, okay, this is the actual end of the calendar with all the, the, the corrections that we have had to do to the calendar, um, you know, through 800 years or uh, through, I'm sorry, through 5,000 years, it adds up to eight years. So, <laughs> so we have completely dismissed the eight years eight years later we're at 2020 and all these things are happening and i'm seeing that there is a uh, that, that there is kind of like a like a reminiscence of this there is kind of like a, a realization of this and more people are becoming more spiritually aware more uh conscious of their have more uh you know thoughts of, of their neighbors and how you know coming together and all this stuff and it's like well the the mayans did something they uh, either they had super duper sight beyond sight mm -hmm. or, or or i don't know i can't explain it because i wasn't there and i don't really i don't really understand it itself i i, I can ju i just have a, a very limited um a very limited un understanding of it you know yeah it, but i try to share it you know yeah because yeah, it's interesting because there definitely is like this this sense of this like it, we're in a, a do or die kind of situation of where oh, yeah. we yeah. need justice we need equality we need understanding for everyone and we're not going to stop until that is common and completely accepted yeah yeah right sign me up you know? yeah absolutely <laughs> let's go yeah that's what um that's another thing that odyssey of fire deals with you know that's why there's uh it's been inspired by current events it's this is kind of a newer thing that i'm implementing that i'm going when i go back i'm going back and editing the book and i'm adding in the whole thing with um not just racism but just prejudice against certain people you know like even you know like um homophobia and stuff like that like like that you know how it how that's starting the um you know there's the older generations that are you know that are like all all those things you know they don't they don't like it but the the younger generation we're having a newer more enlightened younger generation um the star children or what, yeah whatever you want to call them you know yep and you know it's just and it's not and, and since we're dealing with this with odyssey of fire is dealing with people on a inner universal scale and not just a a worldly scale there's going to be levels of awareness you know, like there's some less developed civilizations, some uh, super advanced developed civilizations. But what I want to do is have a more, uh, in a spiritual way, it's, it goes beyond that. Like there is a, there is a, an energy awakening within the whole fan core. Yeah. And that 
just the it's not just on a base by base case of where you're from it's like there's something throughout everywhere that's happening and it's 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 just a phenomenon and you can call it god like touching people or or just some energy around the whole all of existence just you know making its presence known and people are like oh you know we're we're all one you know yeah okay so back to when i was in high school um i started writing it on notebook paper i didn't have a computer at the time this is like my sophomore year i think yeah Mm -hmm. freshman year i my freshman year of high school is when i started really thinking and taking notes about what i wanted to do um, and I knew where I wanted the story to go, but I wanted to start with Suey and George's children. And so I, I brought, and I, I got all this notebook paper together and I, and I wrote, um, you know, Suey and George, they don't know each other yet. Like I go back and forth between them, but they're, they're training for something big along the way and my writing is a lot more simple back then so i i kind of revealed what it was although i think if i were to go that route i would hide what's gonna happen until they become adults um but yeah there's like the a big force and phasian didn't exist um back then but the thing is um after that I and I actually got a computer eventually and I I I'd, I'd written like 800 something pages of notebook paper at this point uh for you know their childhood wow yeah and but I wanted to get to the the big part I felt like doing 800 some pages of them being kids and training and well, it's not just training, like they were learning things along the way. They were going on adventures and developing and stuff. Uh, but like, I felt like I wanted to just get to the core story. And so I I started writing a book um, on the computer. I, I, I finally got a computer in my junior year of high school. And um, yeah, I wrote uh, it was called, I didn't, I didn't have, I wasn't called Odyssey of Fire yet. It was called, um, it was just called the, the spark. And mm. it was, well, actually it was still called the fan core. And while I was writing it, it was only whenever I was ready, about ready to publish it. I called it the spark mm. and it's a spark of fantasy novel. And I actually published it and it exists out there. That is beautiful. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna intro. I'm gonna talk about it in this, like in an introduction, um, paragraph for you know how some books have an introduction, mm-hmm. or or something. I'm gonna do something like that in the new one, an Odyssey of Fire. But yeah, Odyssey of Fire. Uh, whenever I started getting in the film and going to UCF, I was like. You know, I, I want to call it, I, I got into more deeper thinking of, of things and and really, and I realized that <clears throat> the spark of fantasy novel wasn't like my best work. I knew I could do better. So like I decided I want to tell this story and I want to tell it right. So I'm going to rewrite this. By the way, I published the book in 2016. Okay. I've been working on Odyssey of Fire um, since since probably 2017. It took me a year to realize, I think about a year it took me to realize that I needed to rework it somehow with and, and develop my writing. And through these, through 2017 to now um just for i've read a lot of more books to to hone my linguistic skills and writing and i've watched a lot more movies since i'm getting into film 
I've experienced a lot more things in life. You know, a lot very emotional things, some dark things, you know, some beautiful things and mm -hmm. you know, I feel like writing you're if you're if writing you have to practice to be good. Yeah. Also, a lot of it also comes with experience. Your personal experience of things in order to convey things through words, you know, you should, you have to feel what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've, I'm definitely, you know, I'm still young, so I'm not like, that's why I feel like that's why a lot of authors, they're, they're older because, and you know, the, the, the successful authors, they're, they're older because they, their writing has gotten to the point that is so, rich with experience and realism that it it uh makes a mark on the reader and um that's my goal is to get that to that point whenever i'm older um right now i just want to do the best that i can with with odyssey of fire and i'm i'm almost done with the book um it's gonna be called odyssey of fire the spark and yeah. it, and I'm going to, I'm in the final phases of editing. And that's where I am now with Odyssey of Fire. That's how I developed the idea from sorcery, you know, with S O O O E Sui <laughs> versus Jobic and um, into something, you know, bigger and that connects to our existence, our, our real world existence and as commentary and, um, you know, just a way for people to reflect on that. I yeah. believe you're doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> and con I... and congratulations. Cause that's like yes. really exciting to get to that point where you can almost call something finished. Cause you know, as creators, as artists, it's very difficult to be like, okay, I'm done. That's done now. Like yeah. <laughs> it, there's constantly <laughs> like constant tweaking that you could do. And know. you know, you, you get I've... stuck in this vortex of, you know, just, that's why it's taken so long. Yeah, for... just completely like just no, no, not quite right, not quite right. But no, that's it's really exciting, and I'm I'm excited for you and for the company to be able to you know have this kind of running start and to take off in this way. So that's it's yeah. really exciting. Yeah, it's it's I kept saying like okay, I'm gonna have this. I have a Facebook page for Odyssey of Fire the Spark, and I'm like, all right, this is gonna be done summer of 2019 no summer of 2020 or whatever i said and i'm like well and then i have to keep making posts like all right we're gonna um we're we we have to go a little bit longer and i i think i i just stopped making posts <laughs> re i'm just i'm just gonna you know i make posts like saying you know to promote my youtube channel and stuff like that on there or things that I'm doing, but I, that's what I've been doing recently, but uh, eventually I'm, I'm not going to talk about the book until I get something, either the cover art is done or um, I have an officially finished. Once the book is finished and published, then I'll probably make a post on it, you know? Absolutely. And I'm, I'm just really, I'm excited to be involved and to help um, with, you know, the creative process of, you know, the, the films and TV show and, you know, just any other aspects. Like, yeah. it's, it's exciting to be involved in something that you're clearly so passionate about. It makes it easy to be passionate about it as well. And I, you know, like, like you said before, Raymond, that, you know, it's, it's very much like things happen for a reason and it, it there's you know a reason that you know we're talking right now and that you know all of this everything that our life has led up to has you know made it possible for us to meet the people that we've met and you know all of that so yeah it's just it's really yeah. cool to be involved 